Hey guys, here's a little surprise Keto Chris video. Um, this is for Mother's Day. I am making a nice little treat that, oh my God. Well, when I saw this on my feed, I, I, I just had to have it. So uh, I decided I wanna go ahead and make this as a little dessert that I'm bringing to Mother's Day tomorrow, which is actually today when I'm posting this. So this is what I'm making. Yes, you see what we got right here? We got some bacon. But this special bacon is going to be chocolate covered bacon. Um, we're making this special recipe from Keto Meats Menopause. And she actually says that she saw this from a different video. But um, I want to make her recipe with the pork rinds. I'm going to mix up, ground up some pork rinds into the mix. And also, I did not have pecans, so I'm going to use some walnuts. Um, it's going to be a rendition of it. I'm also using uh, Baker's chocolate. I'm going to make a nice ganache. And I am going to use almond extract and vanilla extract mixed up instead of the maple extract that they used originally. So I want to give this recipe a try. So let's see how it goes. First thing I'm going to do before I stuff this in the oven. Um, by the way, I'm using uh, thin cut bacon. So I have the oven already preset to 400 and I'm going to leave it in for about 25 minutes to 30. I'm going to go ahead and watch it, make sure it doesn't burn. Um, okay, so I mixed together uh, one part almond extract, one part um, vanilla. And now I'm going to coat the bacon. Make sure all the bacon is thoroughly coated. After that, we will fast forward. After you're done with that, you're going to want to take your sugar substitute mix. Uh, I use a mix of baking trivia. And go ahead and coat your bacon with the sugar. This is a lot like one of my old candy bacon recipes that I used to make back in the day. Where we use real sugar, brown sugar, all that stuff. Oh my god, so much sugar. So bad for you, but so good. I am. I have high hopes. High hopes for this. I have not tried to do candy bacon for years. So this should be delicious. Okay, well that's in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and get my ingredients together. Um, I'm gonna get my pork rinds and my walnuts crunched up. I actually am gonna put them in a little baggie and mash them up. Then I'm gonna put them in here. And go. I really need a mallet. So while I'm filming this, I'm actually making my last meal. Um, it is spinach feta dinner omelet. Um, here's the uh, eggs. I have two eggs and two egg whites in here and uh, oh my god, it's so delicious. I had it yesterday and I wanted to have it again today. Um, there's only certain meals I can do and this meal is actually pretty keto so um, this is so good. Feta spinach in an omelet. I've never had it before. I don't know why. I love feta. Uh, you should try it. It's so good. Look at that. Everything is steaming. So I already poured out the, uh, the bacon fat uh, into here. I'm going to be mixing that up with my chocolate, so we get lots of fat in this one, in this meal. Um, also, um, some parts cooked a little more than others. Um, I might put those in a little longer, but these, these are perfectly fine. I, they look a little dark, but man, I love crispy, crispy bacon. So hopefully this one isn't too dark. I'll try it out. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I'll put these in for a little longer, and I'll be back. Oh, and perfect timing, because uh, as I let all this cool down, I'm going to enjoy my omelet. Alright guys, it's game time. I got my chocolate ready, I got my walnut and pork rinds ready, and I have my bacon ready. Let's go ahead and start dipping. Okay, this looks a bit messy, but after a lot of prep work and cleaning, I feel like I'm done. I just need to let these cool off, but here's the finished result. Oh man. Let me see. That's a good one.
Look at that. Oh, it looks delicious. I'm going to try it. All right, guys. Here is the moment of truth. Can you focus, camera? Camera does not want to focus. Ooh, whoop. Don't worry, guys. Everything's okay. Got it all under control. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, it's dripping still. Yeah, this isn't solidified yet. Um... I recommend you try it after it's already done, but I can't wait. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. It's like all my favorite things in one bite. All right, I need to stop before I eat it all. That's for Mother's Day. I'm going to store that up and send it over with me as well. Hey guys, it's Mother's Day and I'm here with my mom. <laughs> Say hi. hi mom. And she is going to try the thing that we made last night. I know you all followed. Uh, this is Mother's Day and here is the, the keto bacon chocolate walnut mix that we did from um, Keto Meets Menopause. So. Alright, let me try. Tell me what you think. Hopefully it's good. What do you think? Oh my god. <laughs> that is very good. You can't go wrong with bacon, right? <laughs> no, not at all. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I can't wait for everyone else to get here. And guys, thank you all for checking out this video. I wish all the mothers out there Happy Mother's Day. And I hope you all keep it keto. I'll catch you soon. <laughs>